what's up welcome back to my channel and happy new year to all of you guys i'm super pumped and super excited for the new year i hope you guys are too and yeah if you're excited go ahead and thumbs up this video also if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button um there'll be one on the page or you can subscribe down below the red button down below helps you subscribe and if you hit that little bell next to the subscription button then you guys will get notified when i upload videos and i plan to upload frequently so go ahead and hit that button because you don't want to miss any videos you really don't please excuse my stuffiness i'm a little little stuffy a little under the weather but that's gonna stop me from making new new videos for you guys okay so yeah um yeah so this video is going to be how to get organized how to organize your life you know just a few tips nothing major because i'm not that like good at it but i've been researching it and i've been applying it to my daily life and routine so i hope you guys find this helpful and enjoy this video so we're gonna ha blah, blah, blah. i can't breathe so i can't talk we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it <laughs> tip number one is to brain dump so make a list of all the jumble up things in your head just write them down whether it's like you want to get an apartment whether it's your money whether it's you know birthdays appointments um to-do lists a certain date deadlines anything like that because a lot of times i can't sleep at night because i have a whole bunch of stuff running through my brain and side note because i watch youtube videos so can't blame it all on my mind that doesn't sleep but yeah um go ahead and write it all out get it down on just you know some piece of paper so that you can get it all out of your head and it's written down and you can kind of see it instead of like having it run through your mind over and over again because it's out of your mind you've written it down so you can just look at it the next day <laughs> um tip number two large monthly so this goes for the monthly like in the beginning of your planner or something like that or like a monthly planner itself you want to go ahead and use that for just like an overall view of your month like if you have appointments on a certain day or you know deadlines you need to meet like when you like dumped everything out you're gonna go ahead and place some of these deadlines or appointments on your monthly planner and it'll help you just know when things are coming up or know when something is due and things like that i love using a monthly planner it's like one of my favorite favorite things um as you can see i have a huge whiteboard one in the back of my room don't look too close because it still says december on it gotta fix that so don't don't pay too much attention to that but yeah i love it it's clear it's when i walk into my room i see it every time and i also have one in my planner so i just i just really love using them but they're very helpful and i suggest you do that if you're you know not too great at remembering things and you have certain deadlines you have to meet and things like that or if you want to stay organized and stay on a set schedule then this is an awesome awesome tip and way to like start organizing your life just with a monthly calendar tip number three okay so remember that list we you know dumped out of things that you have to do and all that so after you scheduled everything off of that list now you want to kind of do your like to-do list so what you're gonna do is use the one two three method so you're gonna go ahead and make your to-do list for each day so i have a cute planner i'll show clips of it i have a, the happy planner and i'm starting to try to use the like if you notice in the happy planner it has like days and they're vertical um i want to try to use that because it's basically like a to-do list of your day what things you want to do so when you do that you can use the one two three method a1 a2 a3 a1 being top priority that you need to have done a2 is important and a3 is not important so you want to go ahead and put a1 a2 a3 next to the things that are like from important to not important whatever and that can keep you organized and let you know what things you need to attack first whether than you know the nonchalant things that you don't really have to do like say you have um, you need to call to make an appointment for the doctors um, you need to go find new shoes and you need to edit your videos well obviously your health is important so you might want to put a one next to call make an appointment and it's simple and easy and then you know a two edit your videos and then a three because unless you don't have any shoes at all i pretty i'm pretty sure shoes are kind of like a want so that would be like the least important thing so yeah a1 a2 a3 method is really helpful for getting things done and making sure that you get the important things done in your to-do list so 
That is tip number three. Tip number four. Tip number four is to two to three projects. So what you're gonna wanna do is every day pick two to three projects to focus on during that day. So you don't wanna overwhelm yourself with too many projects because then you're not gonna get them all done realistically and then you're gonna get mad at yourself and you're gonna get overwhelmed and frustrated and there's no reason for that. So you guys want to make sure you do two to three projects a day. So yeah, just a review. One, tip number one, you're gonna go ahead and brain dump. Brain dump everything out of your head. Tip number two is gonna be a large monthly overview. I do recommend if you're not like into getting a planner and things like that, go ahead and get one of these big ones or they have little ones. Um, big one or a little dry erase board calendar that you can erase every month and put it up and you know redo it. I really suggest that. Like I've had this for like years. They're awesome. I love them so 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 much. So yeah, tip number three, use the A123 method. It's amazing, love it. You can prioritize, you know, it's really great on keeping track on what you need to be have done first, second, and third, basically, and it's amazing. So, yeah, and then tip number four, you're going to go ahead and use the two to three projects method, and that is just making sure that you only schedule yourself or put on your list two to three projects a day so that you don't get overwhelmed and, like, frustrated and kind of just ruin your day from doing anything. Because I know when I get frustrated or, like, exhausted, I'm just... I'm done for like the rest of the night or the rest of the day so yeah okay guys so this is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any tips for me or for anybody watching this video if you guys have any inputs go ahead and leave them out in the comments because I want to read them and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it'll be over here you guys can go ahead and check out my latest videos it'll be right here and right here and you can subscribe to me my face will be somewhere on the screen also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. They're always in the description. I'm big on Instagram. I love Snapchat. Um, I also do Live Me. Live.me is a, like, kind of like a you now type thing. It's a live stream, and it's really, really fun. And I just started going on it, and I really, really like it. And I live stream today, actually, getting my face ready and things like that. So if you want to see more of those kind of things you guys can go ahead and check out my description i will have all my social media down below thank you guys so so much i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any other requests go ahead and let me know but yeah stay tuned and i'll see you guys on my next video bye